Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is a wonderful Tuesday, June the 28th, 2022, and this is episode number 421 of your three business tips at three o'clock in and around three minutes. just joining in small business owners solopreneurs i am in a series talking about how to hire a va and we're up to episode number four we talk about the plan previously in yesterday's episode i told you that i use a service called onlinejobs.ph to hire a filipino virtual assistant and i have done this numerous times six or seven times with huge and wonderful success in fact i had my very fourth va start this monday and i went through a process which we're going to talk about today Today we're going to talk about the plan of what the semantics look like of actually going through the process of hiring. So we're going to talk about narrowing it down to 100 applicants, shortlisting 15, and interviewing three. I call this my 115-3 approach. Now as we talked about yesterday, business owners, you want to take the time and do this very seriously. When you post your job, you need to outline all of the things we talked about as well as what the process looks like. And the process looks like you're going to keep it posted to get 100 applicants. You're going to short. You're going to close it down, shortlist 15 of them, and interview three. So let's talk about those steps. Business tip number one: When you post on there, you can't just leave it open forever. You want to do it for a short period of time, and usually 24 hours for me will get you about 100 applicants. You should pick a number and you should cut it off. When you get to that number, you're not going to take any more applicants because on some of these job boards, you're going to get tons and tons of resumes and responses and emails about it and you want to have a certain number of people to choose from. My number is 24 hours or 100 applicants, usually whatever comes first. And in the four or five times I've done it, that's exactly pretty much what happens. I get about 100 applicants within the first 24 hours. Business tip number two, most of the products you're gonna use are gonna give you the ability to read them. You're gonna read the email, you've wrote, written a good description, they're gonna give you a, a response about it. You're gonna go through them and have your rubrics available and you're gonna shortlist 15 of them. For me, one of the very first things I want to shortlist is I, on their profile is I want to make sure they're applying full-time. Uh, fractional VAs are not good because then they, they're just splitting their jobs between things. All of the virtual assistants I have hired with huge success, I want them full-time. So that's my first narrow indication, and I'm looking through their particular skill sets to make sure they match my job posting. And basically, I'm trying very hard through this rubrics of going back and forth to get that list of 100 down to 15. Business tip number three, then what I plan to do is I want to ask them to do something. Now in the case of hiring a virtual assistant for me that was gonna answer the phone, I told them to make me a short little video uh, introducing themselves and then to look at my website and my business and give me some pointers of things I could improve my website because I was hiring a virtual assistant that would deal with the phone, which was key for me, and then dealing with website building. So this was an effort to narrow that short list of 15 down to three. So what I would do is I would say, these are the assignments, this is when it's due. I usually gave them within 24 or 48 hours to do that. And that based on the results of that, I would let them know immediately and narrow it down to three people I wanted to do a Zoom interview with. It's real important that you communicate your expectations. So again, a review, 100 applicants, 15 shortlisted so they can get it down to three interviews. That's my 333 for you today. Anyway, that's what I'm learning. Anything I learned to throw over the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.